G'day and welcome to another Jadis instructional video. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at adjusting the air fuel screw. And in this particular case, the Jadis air fuel screw, which is adjustable by hand on the bike. Very easy. But first of all, we're going to warm up the engine. So I'm going to ride around here like a bit of a dickhead, get the engine nice and warm, so that when we adjust our air fuel mixture screw, those adjustments are going to be relevant for when we're riding the bike. So remember that, don't adjust the screw with a cold engine. As mentioned before, I've got the full Jadis performance kit installed, so I know that my air fuel screw is between three and three and a half turns out. And the goal for this is that either adjusting the screw in or out about a half turn will have an effect on the idle of the engine. And if that effect uh, is within a half turn either side of the position of the air fuel screw, we know that our pilot jet is correctly sized for this set up carburetor intake exhaust. So let's start up the engine and see where we're at. Okay, so we've got our heightened idle and I'm going to come in here with my right hand actually because it's easier and I'm going to adjust inwards this, the air fuel screw a quarter of a turn at a time and there's little knockouts in the top of the screw so I know that every quarter turn I can feel that with my fingers. So we'll screw it in, there's a quarter, there's a half, do you notice that little difference? There's a half, do you notice that little difference? The idle increased which means that within a half term I've managed to increase the idle. If I turn it in even more it might lift the idle even more because we're getting leaner. hear that little difference? So I'm going to go back to where I was, which was a quarter there, a quarter there, and a quarter there. And give the throttle a little blip, and it should come back down to a good stable idle. Now I'm going to show what happens if I screw the screw out. So we go outwards a quarter, a half, Three quarters, one turn, give it the throttle a bit of a blip. One and a quarter, one and a half. Now we're starting to kill the idle. So if I take it out to two full turns out from what I had it on, there you really, I'm going to kill the engine if I keep going which means that the mixture is too rich. So I'm going to screw it back in. A quarter, half, three quarters, one, one and a quarter. We should be about right there. That's probably hanging. That idle is probably hanging a little bit too much for what I'd like. Which means it's a little bit too lean. So I'm going to richen it up. I'm going to turn it out a quarter a turn maybe even a half and I think I'm back at three and a half turns out from stop there and then very important don't forget to turn your idle back in so I'm going to do that and then my idle shouldn't hang like that
pretty good. It could be even better, but that's pretty good. So just a quick recap. I've set this uh, air fuel screw now so that it, uh, either way that I screw it, I can adjust the idle of the engine, which means that my pilot jet is roughly the correct size. If I have my air fuel screw screwed out more than five full turns, I'm probably too lean on the pilot jet, which means that you've opened it out so much to get enough fuel that you need a bigger orifice on the pilot jet. And if you're less than about one and a half turns out, you're probably too rich on the pilot, which means you need to lean out the pilot jet so that you end up with the air fuel screw being between yeah, one and a half and preferably four and a half turns. And here is the actual air fuel screw itself. And what I was talking about was these knockouts here, these notches, which is really handy when this is in your fingers. You can feel that that is a quarter of a turn because you can feel the notches, half turn, three quarters, full turn. So that's pretty handy. Um, if you guys have any questions with the method or the process that this has been done in, just hit us up in the comments or send us a mail. But don't forget to check our carburetor rebuild video and our blog post about it because we've got a whole bunch of jetting settings on there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, happy wrenching, happy riding. Cheers.